The world is formed of 195 countries, 7 continents and 10,000 cities. And the city I happen to be in right now is London, which this video will prove is the best city. You don't believe me? Keep watching them. Good morning on this beautiful, uh, well, beautiful day in London. <laughs> Today we have a very special trip planned and hopefully everything goes well. Playing Fortnite. Today we're gonna go get your haircut. Are we? Yes. That's. Hello. That's... Two hours later. Look at him with his haircut now. <laughs> Turn around, and give us a little spin, David. Ooh, it's not focusing because his autofocus is so bad. Look at that. Let's go. Woo! time that we've walked down this path. <laughs> it's crazy how I've been here so many times and every time I come here it's always full of people. I mean to be fair I have been here about 500 times so I can't really complain. London is a city of opportunities and even though I was born into this I know it's not easy but they're there you just have to want them. All right, so today we're here with Mr. David Da Silva. How are you, David? Very good. So, David, I have some uh, some questions for you. What would you say is the best thing about London? Um, <laughs> you can't ask me. Now, come on. What's one good thing you like about London? The weather. You like the weather? A lot of people would disagree with you. <laughs> the bridge, the buildings. You like London Bridge? I mean. Tower, Tower Bridge. Bridge. I, I can't. I almost made that mistake. Tower Bridge. So you like you like the landmarks. Yeah. That's fair enough. I and mean, Big Ben. And Big Ben. Let's go to our next adventure. So we are currently on our way to taking an old-fashioned mode of transport towards Westminster. We're gonna <laughs> get the boat. Oh look, Tower Bridge is opening. Focus is so bad. Oh my god. The first boat ride on the River Thames. Oh, yeah. How exciting. <laughs> Very excited, I know, because I paid so much for this tick. <laughs> I, I don't know why it was so expensive. But it, it's all for the experience, guys. Don't worry. All for the experience. It's very interesting, this tour. I mean, learning new... Oh. Once through the bridge, building there to the right. Keep looking to the right, a little bit more interesting. It's alright, it's alright. The most accurate clock in the world. Also there to the right, the largest... What do you think of Big Ben, David? ...before being destroyed by fire. The bridge to our right is, of course, the Westminster Road Bridge. So we made it alive. We got off the boat. <laughs> and now we're in Westminster towards Nando's because we are starving. We need to eat good food. That's why they call it Big Ben. <laughs> The weather is very diverse. If you want to experience rain, snow, sunshine, and any other weather condition in one day, then come to London. Fun fact as well, the Big Ben is not actually called the Big Ben. 
It's actually called Elizabeth Tower, and the Big Ben is just a bell inside. The more you know. So right now we're about to walk past the World War II Memorial here in London by Westminster. And it's fun fact, David. Did you know this? Or oh, you didn't know this, that our grandfather actually took part as a soldier in World War II. It's crazy, my dad's dad. There it is. Right behind me. Never got to meet him, unfortunately, but I've heard a lot of stories. <laughs> It's a bit like barbecue. Yeah. I think it's seven, six or seven. There, there isn't much flavor, but it's quite sweet. London is also famous for its very effective transportation system. Inaugurated in 1863, the ward was introduced to the London Underground. Most of the time, it's it's pretty good. Let's go. This brings me on to my last point, which is. It's my home, and this is where you come to this video, because actually everything I said was just my point of view. What makes a city the best in the world is being able to call it home. And I understand a lot of people move out of their home countries for reasons they can and can't control. But either way, we should be grateful for where we live. I know so many people that have moved out of their home countries to a city like London, and today they are more successful than they could ever imagine. And my parents are a prime example of that. If you're safe, you have a roof, you have a bed and you have food, what more could you ask for? I guess we're just really good at pointing out the things we don't have and complaining about the things we take for granted. So take a moment to reflect on your city, your country, and where you live. No city in the world is perfect on paper, but you can make it perfect for yourself.